Get your own wheelchair, nigga. Go. Fuck you, come out. Who? 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 Who
and you know like some of y'all might say that's kind of weird like you you his blood you his brother like he didn't even care to hear you out no he didn't he didn't care to hear me out none of that shit moving forward after that after that situation i decided to distance myself from them you know i didn't talk to them boys for a week you know i i i took it upon myself to you know focus on myself think about everything that went down and when i was done and thinking i would then be ready to talk it out and try to move move past this you know when i'm ready to move past this i go home and I text my I text my brother and I'm like I text my brother and I'm like yo you coming home tonight I'm ready to talk mind you me and him we haven't talked in a week and also me and the friend we haven't talked in a week either so this would be the first time I, I would talk to my brother since you know the little situation occurred so he takes me he like yeah I'm on the way home right now we can talk so when he gets home he tells me he has to go out and handle some other business and that he would like for me to drive, get in the car and ride with him so we can have our conversation. So when I get in the car and we go, explain to my side, like it was never that serious, you feel me? Like, I just wanted to be understood. Like, I'll be, I try to tell, I was trying to tell him like, it's, it's always things that I try to do. I try to be useful. Like, I might have not always had to, had the money or to, to help with whatever was going on but I always wanted to try to make myself useful to the team, you know? Um, me as a, me being, you know, a younger brother, you know what I'm saying? To these, to these niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though me and the, the friend, we the same age, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I always try to make myself useful to the team. Like, I never wanted to just leech off anybody. Like, that was never the case. I'm explaining it to him. I told him like, yeah, like when I, when I, when I called you, for you to hear my side, like you didn't care to hear my side and you just, you told me straight to my face, basically like whatever I do do or whatever I do try to provide or try to, you know, contribute to the team, it's not good enough because I can't contribute like the friend. You know, the friend, he can contribute better than I can. You know, he can help more than I can. To me, that's lame because like, at least I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? The conversation then switches to money, you know what I'm saying? He talking about how he, they helped me get. They helped me get some. Put some money. They helped me put some extra money in my pocket. This and this and that, which I would never downplay and never disagree with. Like, them boys did help me, bro. You know what I'm saying? They did try to help me. You know what I'm saying? But you're not gonna make it seem like I didn't try to help too. Um, so I had told him I was like, that's 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 besides the point. Like, you're bringing up shit that doesn't even matter. Like, I I didn't t I didn't stop talking to y'all boys f about money. I don't care about money. You know, money come and go, like, it's not that money was never the issue. So then he goes to bring up some other shit, which once again, is not the issue. Like, he's bringing up things that's not the issue. On the way home is when I realize that he's drunk, you know? I realize, like, the change in his tone and, and his voice, he's starting to project his voice more while we're in the car. So I can tell, okay, he's drunk, like, you know, this shit finna go left. So... By the time we get by the time we get back home, he's yelling, you know, he's yelling like and me like I don't already, you know, I'm already like immensely I'm already like immensely mentally and emotionally drained from all of this, you know. So at this point like he's yelling and I'm talking monotone, I'm talking just like this. By the time we pull up into the driveway, the conversation is basically over with. I'm telling him, you don't understand where I'm coming from, and I guess you, I guess I don't understand where you're coming from. So it's really nothing else for us to talk about. Before we go forward, I just want to let y'all know, my wheelchair is located behind the Jeep. Y'all can't see my wheelchair, and y'all can't see me. My wheelchair is located behind the Jeep with the red arrow, and I am behind the car, hidden beside the car located with the blue arrow once i said once i say that he gets out the car he tells me all right get the fuck out the car then so i tell him i said i need my wheelchair to get out the car he says go get your wheelchair yourself crawl to it fuck, get your own wheelchair nigga crawl fuck you talking about i get out of the car and i get on the concrete and i tell him i'll crawl to my wheelchair pussy i say it just like that i'll crawl to my wheelchair pussy because like I said, you're not going to hold my wheelchair over my head. I'm disabled, but I'm not incapable. I can do I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, you know? So once I say that, even me thinking about this shit and trying to talk to y'all about this shit, like it's really hard for me to form my words because I'm still, it's still shocking and disappointing to me. Like this shit is just, it's, 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 
it's bewildering. Like he tells me crawl to your wheelchair and I respond, I'll crawl to my wheelchair pussy. As soon as I finish that sentence, he breaks into a sprint. He runs, he, he runs in a full sprint towards me and punches me in my face while I'm on the ground. Punches me in my face while I'm on the ground. After he punches me in my face, he picks me up by my neck like this. He picks me up by my neck with both hands and it's, it is strangling me like, you know what I'm saying? The whole time, I'm just so shocked. I don't even know what's going on. Like, the shit caught me off guard. Like, everything happened so fast. But once he stops choking me, he drops me on the ground. And at that point, like, I'm just in total shock. Like, I'm like, I'm like, nigga, you hit me? You, you put your hands on me, bro? You put your hands on me, bro? Oh, nah, bro, nah. You a bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's what I said. I called him that. After that, he just, he just keep running his mouth like, you swear you so tough. You swear you this and this and this and that. I've never, I never ever claimed to be tough. But since we're on this topic and I, and I, and I know you're going to watch this video, I'm tough. I am tough. Like, I don't have to be physically tough. Like, just because what you, you, you grew up in the streets, like you're tough. Like, let's talk about being mentally tough. Let's talk about being emotionally tough, you know, because mentally and emotionally, I'm tougher than you, but that's besides the point. So he's steady talking about, you swear you so tough, you swear you so tough. You talking about, I'm, I'm, you talking about I'm acting tough, I don't even have my wheelchair. Once I say that, he like, go get in your wheelchair then, nigga. So I'm like, all right, bet. I start crawling to my wheelchair. I'll show y'all pictures and everything. I start crawling to my wheelchair. While I'm crawling my wheelchair, he's pushing me, he's dragging me, he's slinging me, all type of shit. I got cuts on my knees, my knees was bloody. My foot freaking bloody. I got a, a bru. I had a bruise on my face from getting punched. My ear, my ear was bruised up from from being punched. Um, I was bloody on my elbows, my arms. Like the shit is crazy. Once I get close to my wheelchair, he then proceeds to pick my wheelchair up and throw it at me. The the camera didn't catch him throwing my wheelchair at me. But yes, I was on the ground trying to get my wheelchair. He picks up my wheelchair and he throws it at me. When he throws it at me, it lands on the ground in front of me. I then proceed to try to set my wheelchair up to get into it, you know, because you're you're attacking me and I don't even have my wheelchair, so I can't even defend myself properly. So I try to get in my wheelchair. When I try to get in my wheelchair, he picks my wheelchair up and he throws it away from me. So now I can't get in my wheelchair at all. Once my mama come outside, that's when it's like, okay, now, now I feel a little bit more safe. Like, you know, I didn't feel safe at all. Because I just want y'all to understand that I don't I don't have my wheelchair at all. I've been on the ground the whole entire time. So when my mom comes outside, I'm telling her, I'm like, Mom, yo, get this nigga, bro. He's crazy, bro. He freaking put his hands on me. He threw my wheelchair at me, bro. Get him, bro. He's 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 attacking me. Get him. Able to get in my wheelchair because now he's now he's acting because my mother is outside. I get in my wheelchair. I find my phone. He threw my phone in the dirt. My phone. Shh. My shit been my shit been cracked. My shit been cracked, but it cracked more. He threw my shit, but that's besides the point. Like I find my phone and I and I decide to roll in the house. I'm, I'm trying to roll into the house. Fast forward, I'm trying to roll into that. I'm trying to roll into the house. I'm trying to go inside the house. He's still popping his shit. I can't remember what he says, but he gets in my face. He gets real close in my face and I say, Do you think I'm supposed to be scared of you because you can walk? And I guess when I said I guess when I said this, he got triggered or so because I guess he didn't he didn't feel like I, he was scaring me or whatever, but he kind of like bumped his forehead on my forehead. And at that point, that was when I reached my breaking limit and I decided to punch his head. When I punch him, he kind of like, he kind of tackles me again. We fall to the ground. I wrestle him, we're wrestling woo woo woo. I get on top of him, I grab his shirt like this. Now when I grab his shirt like this, I, I cock my arm back to, to throw another punch at him. But mind you, my mom is right there. So when I do that, like I said, he's trying to put on the front like he like he was not hitting me, you know, before my mom came outside. So when I put my arm back, he covers his face and he's like, I'm not going to hit him. I'm not going to hit him, mom. You was you was you just punched me in my face. You just strangled me like you just threw my wheelchair at me. You slid me across the ground. But now my mom is here. You don't want to. So once he says that in my mind, I'm like, man, either we going to. You already done got me to this point. You got me to the point to where I, 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 I hit you back. You feel me? So now it's either we're gonna fight or we not gonna fight. I'm not finna swing on somebody who doesn't wanna who doesn't wanna fight. Like, that's some that's some bitch shit. 
Why would you? Why would you swing it? Why would you punch on somebody? Why would you beat up on somebody who doesn't want to fight back? That's some. That's some whole shit. You feel me? So he says that I. I let him go. I don't hit him. I let him go. You'll see in the video. I let him go. We get up and up. We get back. I get back in my wheelchair. We go inside. When we go inside, he's like I said. The boy drunk. The boy drunk off his ass. So when I go inside, he's still. He's still talking, bro. He's still. You know, talking about, oh, you swear you so tough, woo, 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 woo. He talking about he beat my ass. It's just so crazy how you would violate and then go tell your friends you beat my ass. Like, that is the most lamest shit I ever heard. Like, that's that's lame, nigga. Like, that is some lame ass shit, bro. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Did that sound, did, does that sound deeper than what it was? Because I think it was deeper than that. I think... I, I feel like he 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 been wanting to do that shit. You been feeling some type of way. You been wanting to put your hands on me. And you, I guess you just felt that this was the right time. After the whole situation, I calmed down. I tried to calm down. You know, I really tried to not let it bother me. My body was hurt. I'm still waiting to go to the doctor. I made an appointment with Shepard, but my appointment is not until October. So I'm still waiting to go to the doctor for pain management because my body was aching. My my throat was aching. My arms. My, my tailbone, my, my my back, all of that was aching. But but after that shit, once I was able to calm down, even though with my body aching, man, I just broke down. Like, I just bust out into tears. I had to leave my house and I rolled down the street, boohoo crying. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, nigga, that shit hurt. Like, not even the, not even the fight. Like, the, fuck the fight, I'm cool. Like, that shit wasn't nothing. But like, that shit hurt me emotionally because it's like, damn, this was my day one. We share the same fucking blood, y'all. And he did this, like, he did this to me, bro. Like, that just go to show you can't trust nobody, bro. Like, not even your, not even your family sometimes, y'all. Your family will do some crazy shit to you, bro. Like, your family could be the one that's hating on you and you'll never know, bro. This shit happened July 31st around 11, 11, 20 something p.m. You feel me? 30 40 minutes before my birthday this shit happened so after the after the after all this shit happened and i calm down and i go outside and i'm crying i'm in the middle of the street crying bro because i because i just feel so betrayed like you know what i'm saying like damn i'm just sitting there thinking damn bro my my own blood did this shit to me bro the nigga I, the nigga i cared about the most the nigga i did would do anything for the nigga i rooted for the nigga i wanted to see win the most did this shit to me. I'm sitting there in the middle of the street crying. I look at my phone. It's 11:47. You be 13 minutes until my birthday, man. That was the, that was the craziest. That was the most craziest way to to to, to go into my birthday. Pray and ask God to reveal the snakes and the bad people in your life and to remove them, man. Ask Him, bro, because it ain't nothing like. I ain't gonna lie. That's a different type of hurt when you feel betrayed. By the by the by the niggas that you that you cared about the most, that you looked up to the most, and you they do some shit like that, or he do some shit like that to you, bro. That's a different type of hurt, bro. Like, like that shit destroyed me. I'm grateful. I'm more than grateful. I thank God every day. I thank God every day for for putting me in that situation, because without that situation, I wouldn't. Without that, with, without that, I wouldn't be able to to grow and 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 move up. And be successful like that's what i needed ever since then i've been on go man can't shit stop me with that being said share this video man share this video to somebody man get this video out bro i want this video i want this video to to, to be shared i want people to see i want people to understand what i went through be careful who you hang around with man reevaluate your, your circle and if you want better for yourself you can you can you can do better for yourself you have to want it for yourself i want it better I don't know if them niggas want it better. You feel me? That's that's not up for me. That's that's up that's up to them. You know what I'm saying? But I want better for myself and I'm not gonna wait on nobody. If I gotta lose whoever I gotta lose to, to go to to get better, to get to where I wanna go in life, come on. Let's do it, man. Let's let's run this shit. Let's go. Cause I trust God. I got faith in God. God got me no matter what. With that being said, I love y'all. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. Yes, this was a, trauma, a traumatizing experience for me, but we got to keep pushing, man. 
You feel me? I never, I never let some shit hold me back ever again, man. I'm on my, I'm on go all summer, bro. All year, all year, I'm on go, bro. Nothing but grinding, bro. Cause I owe it to myself. I owe it to myself, and I owe it to y'all to live the lifestyle that I want. So, I'm gonna see y'all, man. I love y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that support me on my journey, man. Without y'all, would not be doing this. Without the supporters, bro, I would have been gave up. I would have been gave up. So, y'all, I love y'all, man. I love y'all for real. Let me catch y'all, boys, in the next video. Shit, bro. You be acting so